When bass are in the pre-spawn mode, it's time to pick up a Norman middle end. This week on Crank It Up, Frank Scala shows you exactly what to look for. There he is, I got him. That's it. All right. Right where he was supposed to be. Oh, good. Acrobatics. I'm throwing this the, the middle end. And basically what we're doing is we're fishing these early spring. It's an early spring. It's not quite pre-spawn yet. So what I'm focusing on is I'm focusing on all these little secondary points. This middle end here, the, the middle end is what I call a hunter. It's made by Norman Lures. It, it really works from four to eight feet deep. It hunts really good. It's got a, it's got a really hard wobble to it. And the way the paddle, the bill design is, is it really digs and knocks around in the rocks and the wood down there. It's a really good hunting bait. It's actually one of my favorite search tools when I'm trying to figure out the location of the bass. The middle end is probably one of the most underrated crankbaits on the market. This is one of my all-time, all-time favorite search tools. When I'm trying to figure out a depth range, if the fish are shallow on the rocks or off the points, I use this to search for it. Um, as at all Normans, it's made of butyrate. It's got a dull thud sound. And as you all know, that, that resonates really well in the fish's lateral line. They have a better idea. They can hone in on it better. I'm gonna get closer to these docks as the deeper water does. There he is, that's a good fish, holy smokes. That fish slaughtered this thing. That feels like a good one, but he, he slaughtered it. Holy smokes, I thought he was an absolute giant of a bass. He slaughtered this thing. You know, here, here's, here's the thing today. I mean, all I'm fishing today is I'm fishing these little underwater points that come out. I'm focusing on those. As long as I can feel rocks or debris down there, I keep on fishing. The cool thing is, is I'm really focusing on where the contour lines get tight into these, uh, they get tighter into these points that stick out underwater because that means the tighter the contour lines, the steeper the drop. So I'm basically, I'm following this contour lines. I'm keeping my boat in six to eight, casting up to three, and I'm kind of quarter casting the edges. So I'm running it down the edges of the brake line. And um, that's pretty much what I'm doing today. It's early spring. Their fish are staging to go in to spawn. They're not really pure pre-spawn yet, but they're getting close. So as I find these contour lines that go into good spawning areas, I'm just following the points and the contours in. There he is. There we go. Let me tell you why. These fish have to be in these places right now. From when we started out this morning, it was pouring down rain, it was freezing cold. And now the conditions have changed drastically, but I'm still running the same pattern. I'm running all these secondary points in these pocket mouths um, because these fish are staging up here to spawn. Well, that's a pretty good fish right there. These fish are staging up here to come in and spawn and they're not spawning yet, they're not even close. But um, they're just staging, oh no, he's barely hooked. They're staging on all these points and pocket mouths. Let me get this thing. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. This middle end is just perfect for this situation on all these high spots and points. They gotta, come, they gotta be connected to the mainland. That's the one thing we learned today 
is they have to be connected to the mainland. If they're isolated humps offshore, they're not holding the fish. All these fish are staging up on these places right here to go right back there and spawn. Middle end and spotted bass. God, I love these fish. <laughs>